Hey everyone, Meshroom here. In this video I'd like to show you how to set up an entirely new scene in the Decentraland SDK so you can check out your amazing GLB models. If you don't have the SDK installed already, there are some amazing videos already explaining how to do that, so we will leave a link in the description for you to check that out. And also you can read through the documentation on Decentraland.org. Okay, so let's get started. Let me open up my folder, which is completely empty at this point. And also let's open up a terminal. So all you have to do here is type in DCL init, which is going to ask you a couple of questions. Choose a project type. I'm going to select scene and just keep spawner is fine. We're going to delete everything anyway because we just want to see our GLBs. Okay, so that, that's going to do its thing. And what it's doing is basically creating inside of our folder all these text files that you need to get started. All right, it says success. So we could just start DCL start to start up our scene at this point. But I want to delete everything that it's created from the game Pontiesh. There's only two text files that we're going to be editing in this tutorial. This is one of them. So come in here and delete everything, save it. And now we can check it out. So let's type DCL start. And what we want to have here is a completely empty scene. Because we deleted everything, obviously. And here we go. We can see it's one parcel. One parcel is 16 by 16 meters. Okay, well, let me just turn the volume down here. We don't need sound. Okay. Okay, excellent. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, so game TS is, we're gonna add our GLB inside this one in a moment. But first let's go to scene.json. This is where we can set up the base parameters of our scene. So let's say we don't need one parcel, but we we built a building that is four parcels big. So this is where you do that. I'm going to just copy this part out and add in a few more of these. So this will represent our four parcels. So we want zero, zero. I would like zero, one, one, zero and one one okay save it so this will give us four parcels the base is always the bottom left corner of every single scene okay so now if we go back here you have to press ctrl c to exit the previous loop and now just type in dcl start again it even tells you here, so press Control C to exit. And if we come back to our browser, it's gonna open a new one, so we can close this one out. So what we'll hopefully see now is a four parcel scene. Okay, cool. So what we want to do now, so this one, we're basically done with this one. Go back to game.ts. So what we want to do now is start to build out our GLB. So for that, we need to create a constant and I'm going to name it building and tell it that this is going to be a new entity. Okay, so now that it's an entity, we can add components to this entity. So we want to add a GLTF component to it where we can tell which GLB to use. So I'm going to type building dot add component and parentheses inside we need to add a new GLTF shape parentheses again and 
inside we have to put a string and we are going to tell it that this will be in the models folder and we're going to name glb cube.glb okay and save it so right now we need a models folder and a cube.glb so if i come down here i can right click create a new folder name it models uh, i can do that here also but you see it's it's added my models folder inside the sdk tutorial folder Okay, and now I'm going to come to Blender, add a mesh. I'm just going to do a very amazing building here. Cool. Let's scale it up to, because it's four parcels, two times, I'm just going to make it 15 by 15 meters. So that's going to be 30 meters total in length, which is almost going to come out to the edge of the parcel. Okay, that's it. Maybe add a material to it. Cube material and make it a beautiful red color. Okay, export GLTF, navigate to my folder models, and because I told it it's going to be named cube.glb, I will name it that. Okay, amazing. One last thing we have to do is we have to tell the code to actually add it to the engine. So we're going to type engine.add entity and inside we are going to tell it to add the building. Cool. Let's see what we got. Go back to the terminal, exit the previous one and DCL start. Come back here. I know I can close this one out. And there we have it. We have our beautiful building inside. Oops, it has some red cage around it, which we don't want. Ah, this is why. See, it's outside of the parcel. Because, as I told you, the base and the origin of every scene is the bottom left corner. You can see here in the map, I am facing north. There's this little arrow pointing towards north which means this is the way the map is and the origin of the cube my building is exactly at this point the bottom left corner so what do we need to do we can add some transforms to this from visual studio code which will be another component so let's just start typing I want to add it to the building again. We want to add a component, and this time we want to add a transform component. Parentheses, curly braces, and I want to type position. Don't worry if you don't know what to type. You can always just copy this from another project, like or copy it from this video, save it in a text file, and just you can just copy paste it in. You don't have to write this down at all. We want a new vector, 3, and I'm just going to give it 0, 0, 0 first, so nothing's going to change. See, I saved my file, and this reloads automatically, so you don't have to close it out every time. Let me show you that again. So I'll save it, or well, let's actually move it. Like, I know that this is x, y, z coordinates, this way you move it, so I know that I will want to bring it up 15 because that's the middle of it save and there you go it's pushed it up okay i also need to bring it inwards and towards me to fit the parcel so how do i know which way to do that well this is a map so if i stand you can see again back to that little arrow i'm pointing towards north 
So I know I need to push it towards north and push it towards east. Those are both positive because to the right is positive and upwards is positive. So I know that I need to push it on the x-axis 16, which is the middle of the two parcels and upwards 16. Save it. And voila. Yay, our building is nicely in center of our parcels. Great. So that's pretty much all you have to do. And another way you could do this is from Blender. I'll just quickly show you that you get the same result if you position your, oops, use the, there we go, put it back in the wrong spot. Perfect. So in Blender, let me illustrate these parcels. I'm going to add the plane, scale them. 8 by 8, so this will be 16 by 16. And let's just simulate this. So I'll bring it there and there. So the bottom left is the origin of our scenes. We have four of these. So I'm going to copy, copy. There we go. And also copy these up. So this is our scene as we start out. So I can move my cube in Blender as well to the correct position and export like this. That's just I just wanted to show you that you can you can also do this and then you don't have to add the the position. You can also finish this and add scale and rotation to it if you want. So if I export this now I'm just going to click select it this time. OK, overwrite it. I don't have to actually stop and exit every time. I can just do a hard refresh, which will refresh the GLB as well. Control F5. And there we go. It's perfectly placed again. OK, so if you do want to scale, I'm just going to finish up this code so you have it. I can add a scale, new, which is also a vector 3, because we can scale on three axes. And we can have a rotation, which will be a Cortinian Euler. And there we go. So now I can XYZ, XYZ, I can even scale it and rotate it. So if I say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and save it, our cube is smaller. Okay. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.